Hi everyone, it's Tiffany with Bearable Traders here to do my recap. I am going to talk about my trade for today, which was BABA, and I'm also going to talk about um, how I find my daily levels, which someone asked me to make a video on that, so I thought I would talk a little bit about that today. Um, so BABA was not on my watch list today. I had, I think I had Tesla and Apple. They, uh, both of those had decent volume in the morning, and I, I honestly, I didn't love anything, but I was keeping an eye out on the scanners, and I was listening to our room. And as a matter of fact, pre-market, one of our members um, um, suggested that we look at BABA. And when I looked at it, I didn't really love it, but I... Um, so I didn't exactly put it on my watch list. However, after the market opens, um, somebody mentioned it again in the chat room and, and the moderators were talking about it, how strong it was. Now, when I choose which stock I am going to choose for my five or 15 minute um, opening range breakout, I really like to have the feeling that it's that I've, that I've missed an entry, that it's so strong and it is, and, and that I'm, that I've lost the ability to get a good entry. And anytime I feel like that, typically my five and 15 minute opening range breakouts work out really great. So when I know I, I pulled it up and I saw that the R vol was well over a hundred percent. And so that's what immediately caught my eye. And as you see, it had a super strong five minute um, candle. So I was watching it as it was breaking through these levels here. Um, I have um, yesterday's high and low and two days before high and low marked. Those are the red dots right here. And once it pushed up through this um, yesterday's high, uh, it caught my eye and I was watching to see how it reacted against this level. As you can see, the volume was super strong. It I was able to get a, an entry right at this level, which meant, meant my risk to reward was amazing because if it lost this daily level, I was going to get out. So I decided to um, to partial 25% here at this 118, which is a daily level I have marked. And then after it put up this doji candle right here on somewhat decent volume, I took another 25% partial when it made a new low because I felt my, my entry may not have been perfect for the move that I was looking for. So I was kind of expecting it to come back and stop me out. So I wanted to go ahead and get a, somewhat of a nice profit on it. So I took two 25% partials here. It never did come back and stop me out. It was a beautiful ABCD pattern all morning. And as you can see, I have another um, level marked here at 119.50. I took another partial and then I took a partial at 120. I did not have a daily level here, but I saw that there were a ton of asks and um, I figured it would consolidate here for a while. So I wanted to take another, another partial. Then I um, I partialed heavily here. I had to leave for the day, so I partialed heavy, and then I left 10% to run for the day. And when I got back, I I just kept my my ultimate um, goal was to make it to this 125 eight 125 level, which is also marked from the daily, but it did not. And once it lost, once it um, lost this particular area that it was trading in right here and lost the um, nine on the 15, I went ahead and exited the rest of my position. But as you can see, this was an all day hold and it ended up being a great, uh, a great trade. And now let me t tell you a little bit about my, uh, where I get my daily levels from. So like I said before, Baba was not on my watch list. So when I pulled it up, um, earlier and I saw that it was super strong I went ahead and took a look at the daily and at my first level was at 118 as as you can see there's several touches there's one two three four that was a close and this was an open open price so 
you have five times in the past month where the, Baba, this was a significant level, 118. Then my next was 119.50. There, here, here we have, I'll clear these. Here we have one, two, three, four. Four touches at this particular level. So those those just jump out to me, and that is where I that's where I mark my levels. And then once again, this 121 60 level, boom. There was one here. Now that one, so three touches. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's just it's just a roundabout. But um, that that was my that was a ne the next level. And then my 125 was right here, two, three, four touches. So I, I, look for, I look for multiple touches in the past month. If it's not in the past month, I will go back um, to, to a year or however, however long it is, however long it's been since this particular um, stock was trading in this range. And I just look for multiple touches and that is where I choose my daily levels. And that's it. That was that's where I got my daily levels from Baba. I do this with every stock that I trade. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know down below. And I hope you all have a great day. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.